So the things that I would recommend that helped me in my mission that I saw that were the, the biggest thing that helped me is first to be obedient. That's something I learned with my first companion. He was just a beast. He was just incredible. He worked so hard. He was so obedient. And, and he was a great missionary. And you can see a lot of miracles when you're obedient. And also... When, you have, when you're obedient, you have the Spirit. And I think that that's one of, if not the most important thing that you can do is to follow the Spirit. I remember my first interview with Mission President, he told me that, he said, Elder Pacheco, you can be the missionary that will, be follow, that will follow the Spirit, that will be guided by the Spirit. And he said, be that missionary. And he said, if you do so, you'll see miracles in your mission. And, and it was true. It became true as I followed the Spirit. I saw many, many, many miracles. I remember once we were we came out of a dinner appointment, and we were biking, and we were gonna go to the, 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 this lady's house. And as we we're going there, I just, I just felt the prompting that we, we we needed to go to the Bradley's house, and that's like a, a part member. No, 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 a uh, recent comer family. We're like, man, we just visited them yesterday. They were doing pretty good, and so we're like, okay, whatever. If we felt it, let's go. So we went to that to that to their house. And as we're going there, we are locking up our bags, and then this truck just comes like crazy, like it comes around the corner. And then a guy gets down, and the guy's like really tall and really scary. And he comes up to us, and he's like, "Hey, are you the guys that do baptisms for the dead?" And we're like, "Oh no, here we go. He's gonna make fun of us. He's gonna do all these things." And so we're like, "Yeah, we are." And then he's like. Well, could you write down my information? And we're like, wait, 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 wait a second. Like, why are you asking us to write down your information? And it's like, well, I have a lot on my plate lately. And we're like, no, 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 wait, you can't do that. And we start talking to him. We, we testify that God had a plan for him and that he was going to help him. And we, we were able to, to convince him not to commit suicide. And it was crazy. And then we, we were able to teach him and to teach him about the nature of God, who was God and the plan of salvation and and how he didn't know these things and when he started understanding who really who God really was everything started making sense and he had a hard time he's just his his children were taken away from him his, his wife cheated on him his mom was in the hospital with cancer and he didn't have a job and it was like really really hard on him but then he started getting a job and he started progressing and all these things just because of that because we were able to follow the spirit and help somebody that was going to commit suicide so no, it's really neat, and I understand the importance. And if you follow the Spirit, you'll really see miracles in your mission. Something that is huge, that was really huge for me, is is also love, loving, truly loving those who you teach, and having a love for everyone. That is that is huge. I I, I thought I had understood that principle, but it, it really took me until a year and a half into my mission to understand it fully, and to know how love brings power. If you have love. For those that you teach, you'll be able to teach with power, and you'll be able to touch your hearts, and they'll they'll be able to feel the spirit and, and want to progress and want to to improve, and, and you'll see them progressing. You'll see them going to the waters of baptism, and you'll see them enjoying all these blessings just because you love them. And that's something that that I know is true. That if you truly have charity for them, you'll be able to see them progress and come to Christ. Um, and then one of the last advices that I can say is just really study the scriptures. Um, Ponder them, write down your thoughts, learn from them. And I found out that as, that as I cited the scriptures and I wrote every thought that I had and wrote those verses and what those verses meant to me at that time that when I was in the lessons, just scriptures would flow into my mind. The Spirit will bring them back to my remembrance that I will be able to, to preach and to, to support the preaching with, uh, with the scriptures. And then the last thing, just, just be yourself. Um, Many times you go out in the mission and you feel like you have to be like a cookie cutter missionary, like you have to be a certain way. And and just be yourself because the Lord sent you to, to that mission because you were, you especially were going to touch the life of somebody else. And if you're yourself and you're obedient, the Lord will magnify those strengths of yours. And you'll be a better yourself, a super yourself. And that's how I like to put it. And you'll be able to touch people. You'll be unique.